Ready? Hello, and thank you so much for joining us. My name is Cedric Bailey, and it's time to get ready for our secret Santa. And joining me is my good friend, Dion Sims. Hello, Dion. How you doing? Hello, Cedric Bailey. I'm doing good. What about you? I am doing all right. Excited, getting ready for the holidays. And as before you know it, it'll be right here among us. Right here. Right here. I'm trying to tell you. All right. Well, let's talk about the Secret Santa. First of all, who is putting this together? So Unity Unlimited um, has one of its programs um, is, you know, trying to help grandparents raising their grandchildren. And they've already been through this struggle once. <laughs> and so they found themselves raising kids again uh, for various mm -hmm. reasons. Right. And so our Secret Santa program, which was um, birthed from an idea from one of our members, um, Dorothea Davis, that started more than 11 years ago. Um, with trying to help a grandmother whose daughter had been uh, uh, jailed um, right around Christmas time. And she had to start wow. taking care of her kids. And when she went to the house to get their things, she you know, thought she would be picking up their Christmas presents to bring home with her. And there wasn't anything. Wow. And so she you know, was telling, uh, and we call her Miss Dottie, uh, told, told Dottie she didn't know what she was going to do. And so Dottie just got on the phone and called folks. And ever since then, 11 years ago, we have um, been helping people, grandparents specifically, raising their grandkids um, for things for Christmas. Now, when it comes to getting them things for Christmas, you know, you know, most time they want toys. And I've <laughs> learned that today's generation is completely different when it comes to toys. We'll play with them. They'll, they'll play with them for about like uh, maybe 30 minutes or an hour. And then, <laughs> and then it's on. It's like, okay, what's that? Well, what's our that? program is different. Our program is different. Yes. So because these are grandparents raising their grandkids, usually they are on a fixed income. And so our goal is to provide them with uh, clothes, um, a package of socks, a package of underwear, uh, a pair of tennis shoes, and a coat primarily first. And then we try and fulfill the items on their toy wish list. Because right. with uh, grandparents, there is generally, you know, a lack of funds. And what we're trying to do is to make their life a little better. Yeah. So usually they can find resources um, when school starts, but, in you know, and helping with school clothes then. But, you know, at the at the midpoint, you know, there's there's always this gap. So that is our goal is to help the grandparents, you know, with outfitting the kids so that they can, you know, do the back half of the year. Now, how's the previous year has been working out for you? So last year, uh, it's been continually growing. So last year, we serviced 127 kids. Um, and so we, um, from November to December, we started sorting. We started um, getting the clothes, getting the boxes put together, and then wrapping. And then we have a distribution day on the on the third Saturday of December where they come out and they get them and we have uh, fun activities for the kids. We feed them uh, a meal and um, and then they, you know, get to take their box and it's all wrapped for Christmas, you know, home. This year, there was an overwhelming uh, response. And so we've got almost 500 kids. What? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You say five? Five. 500 unique kids. There's no duplicate. <laughs> but you, but 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 I thought you were looking at you said one seventy five, but at least you were looking at two hundred. So it's two hundred. So we were at one twenty seven. So you know I put some growth in my numbers, right? I moved it up to two hundred from one twenty seven to two hundred. And um, when we when we checked on the fifteenth of October, there were about twenty five to thirty folks registered. I said, okay, we're gonna have to beat the bushes, you know, and and get you know to that two hundred from October fifteenth. To our closing on October 31st, there were almost 500 kids registered. And I'm like, okay, so we're not turning anybody away, but now I've got to go and find some extra sponsorship, right? I've got to okay. go find other people to help us because we don't want anyone that, you know, signed up to be disappointed. I and, got you. And so, yes, I am, I am looking 
for for sponsors to help us. JC Penny is helping with uh, giving us a very good bulk discount in buying the clothes. They were a sponsor last year. You know, they were a sponsor of Miss Opal's Walk this summer. Uh, real tough. And so uh, they're helping us with a bulk discount from their buying purchase um, at cost and below. Uh, and so we just need the financial funds to buy each of uh, them a three sets of clothes, um, socks, underwear, tennis shoe, and coat. So would that be a budget of about one hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars per child? It's about three hundred. It's three hundred, okay. three hundred dollars per child um, to to outfit them properly. Wow! So that means. <laughs> That's going to be about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Now I had planned for two, uh, so for three hundred, about almost a hundred thousand dollars. I, I so need additional. So, so how can people reach you if they know a business or organization that would like to at least uh, step up? If people want to make a five thousand or a ten thousand dollar contribution, or so, or even a hundred dollar contribution, well, who do they need to call? And how can they reach you? Well, they can definitely give me a call, all right? And our number is 682-738-6055. Or they can go to our website, unityunlimited.org, and go to the Secret Santa program. There's a donate button right there on the page, straight wow. for Secret Santa. Um, and again, it's a, a really a neat program that um, our grandparents, The you know, some of the comments are, um, cause we ask them, you know, why do you need, you know, the help of secret Santa? Cause you know, you want to know. And a lot of them have been, you know, I'm on a fixed income. I didn't expect to be raising my grandkids at this point in my life. I did my, my due. Um, but they're, they're grateful. So a lot of the program, the, um, the comments afterward are, are you know, thank you because I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, wow. and, and then there are still grandparents still working. Right yep. at this this point, and you know they were saying that, you know, you know things are tough. You know, you know I've been sick, and so I haven't been able to work as much, and so this really helps. So, it really is about helping them have a better quality of life. Wow, uh, I know we, children are resilient. You know, if they don't get anything, they bounce back, right? But it's it's the heart of a grandparent that always wants to make sure that they provide, you know, for their grandkids or whoever they're taking care of, right? Have you had anonymous donors, people who's done things and don't want to don't want to be acknowledged, and they just yeah, do yes, it? Yes, we do. Uh -huh. A lot of people aren't in it for the the gold, the glory, the glory, right? And so they give. And so if someone wants a, their uh, donation to be anonymous, we keep their names out of the spotlight. Um, but we're just as appreciative of their support because, again, um, you know, we are a five hundred one c three. Uh, if some folks need to get, you know, some tax, the year in tax deductions for their <laughs> taxes, uh, we're we're the source. Um, they can I give to you. us, and they will get letters, uh, of course, for their taxes and stuff. But it definitely is about, you know, this being the season of giving, right? But, All right. Uh, knowing that there are families that need uh, their support. I got you. And again, that's Unity Unlimited. And what is the website again for those who um, like to go in? And what's the deadline, by the way, too, as well? So unityunlimited.org. And if mm -hmm. they go to programs and go to Secret Santa, or it's right there on our homepage as well. Um, and then the deadline, we really need things in by the 1st of December mm -hmm. because we close up the boxes and start the wrapping process. And, okay. um, but if they need us to, uh, help replenish, uh, what we're going to be, um, uh, getting out, they can give all the way up to the end of the year and it will still help us, um, re uh, replenish the coffers. All right. So we're going to ask, uh, the churches if they would like to take, you can even do something at your church where you, you know, like at our church, we have what we call like a benevolent offering that you do and lift up and you pass the hat around or something and they can just do it in the name of their church or if they're, uh, they're Greek. Uh, fraternity, sorority, or, you know, any organization that would like to reach out. Now, what's your phone number one more time, Dion? So they can give me a call directly at 682-738-6055. And that will come straight to us. That's our headquarters number uh, for Unity Unlimited. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to tell us about this. And I'm going to ask my friends, the ones that are watching, would you please uh, share? And the most important thing that you can do is say a prayer. You know, I remember growing up and, and people were helping you doing things. And I'll never forget this one lady 
she's gone now, but she told me later on, she said, well, Cedric, um, I didn't tell you this, but you was one of our Boy Scouts, and I remember uh, coming to your house and just sending a bag of groceries or some items on your doorstep. And I never, my mom, we never knew who did that. <laughs> and I didn't find out till later, some 40 years later, what that person that did, you know. And, and those and are the, seeds, I uh, said it, those are seeds sown. And you never know how your seed, your simple seed of giving grows and blesses people. And and if you're not doing it from a heart to be seen, like, like the Bible always talks, do your praying in the closet, you know, not yeah. to be seen of men. God rewards you openly. Um, but that's a seed sown into a life to sustain. And that's what our freedom of giving. And I, again, Juneteenth, you say, well, what is, you know, Secret Santa got to do with Juneteenth? The freedom that Juneteenth represents. Okay, yeah. It's more than just freedom from chattel slavery. It is freedom to have a better quality of life. And yes. that is the neat thing about Juneteenth. And that's why Unity Unlimited uh, wants to educate folks about the power of freedom and what Juneteenth represents. And this is just one of the ways that we do. Amen. Hey, Dion, it's been a, a blessing. And by the way, congratulations again to Miss Oba. I saw something else. I saw your latest post. Say, look what my my granny did again. It's just nothing seems to amaze you about Miss Opal. And what is she, 97 now? 97. And we just finished a 5K walk for uh, diabetes awareness um, with Paul Quinn and Mommy Joppa's farm, Opal's farm, and Mommy Joppa's collaborated. And I tell you what, she was out there meeting and greeting and you know signing books and, and everything. And then she's on her way to Wiley. For homecoming, yeah. so any time to go to Marshall, and that's you can't stop it when you talking about going to Marshall. Oh no, not at all. And yeah. um, but she's 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 a force, and yeah. and she's a force for good. And so I really do appreciate um her just giving of herself all the time. And all right, and she did well, it for yeah. years, right? Yes, she so, has. And so not there, anybody's is there a new is there a new room that's been added at the house with all the awards that she's received? Well, you know what she's doing, all right? So right. Habitat, you know, had the groundbreaking. They're um, going to build her a house at the location where her parents were burned out on Juneteenth in 1939. And so she's going to move in there, and we're going to turn the house into a museum. Wow. So, the, so, her, so she's going to have a home museum um, on, you know, there. But she says all, I'm, all she's taking is a toothbrush, and so we're going to, um, redo and you know add stuff to the walls because it's already full today. So, wow, amazing! Well, please tell I say hello. Can't wait. I know that Jared is steady working and the whole crew on the museum that's going to be right there on Evans Avenue in Fort Worth. So that's another conversation. A and whole I'll another one. Yeah, that's going to open December. Uh, J oh, no, June team twenty twenty five. So we've got okay. to uh, a couple of years, eighteen months. But uh, to get that done and ready, because uh, we're going to be doing her walk from there in 2025. All right. Hey, praise God. Thank you so much for the update on the Secret Santa. And you have yourself a great day. And we're looking forward to the good news. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Cedric, so much.